When an artist comes to me, the very first question is always the same. How many polygons must a model have at maximum? Actually, if you prepare your 3D model right, then the number of the number of polygons or the, the amount of detail has no issues at all. And what kind of preparation is that? That kind. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present a special technique which is called level of detail, load in short. I'm going to show you in a second. So in order to show this, I have prepared some random model. Uh, this is a very detailed model, as you see. In a couple of minutes, we are going to prepare it for exporting to Unity. Let's take a closer look to our 3D model. As you see, it's a very detailed one and it's not going to be easy for 3D cars to render. There are more than a million polygons inside. You may think that one million polygon alone is not a big thing. Yeah, as an individual model, it's not a very big thing, but when you consider putting hundreds in the same scene, it can be an impossible task for your game engine. Also, in addition to the geometric detail, there is also some material detail, which we will cover it in the next video. Let's not focus on that for the time being. Maybe I should switch to the solid mode in order to show and work on the detail in a more easy way. Here you can view from different angles. The detail on the model is very large. Actually, it's huge. Also, you may have noticed that some extra layer of detail here is present, but it's not about the geometry, it's in the material, and we are not going to cover this in the video. Hopefully, I'm going to give great detail about this in the next video. For the time being, we are not going to take this into account. For now, you can focus your attention to the geometric detail, which I have generated with multi-res modifier. I applied it eight times and with a couple of 3D brushes, I have made a wall detail, wall design. Okay, so we can start talking about the actual technique, the level of detail technique. In this technique, we are going to create more than one version of the very same model. Each has a um, lower amount of detail than the previous one. And when the model is the closest to the camera, then the one with the highest detail will be displayed automatically by the Unity and by the camera progresses far from the model. Uh, according to the distance, Unity is going to automatically select a lower detail model. Yeah, let's not waste any time and jump in. Let's do this. First of all, you see that I have a model named Wall 1. This is going to be my highest detail model and I am going to duplicate this and create a, uh, another model with a lower detail. For this purpose, I am going to decimate it. I am going to apply 0.1, so we will have a model with 10% detail. Then I am going to duplicate another one, and this time I am going to set the percentage as 1%. This way I am going to have three separate models for the time being. Later I am going to add one, but first, Let's put two models side by side and compare their details. As you see, the difference is not very noticeable. Although one has almost a million polygons and the other is barely 100,000, the, the visual difference is uh, not very noticeable. So let's create another model, another variant with less, even less detail. This time I am going to make 0.3%. It took a while, but our computer managed to do it. So as you see, the difference uh, is noticeable now. But since we are going to display this variant when the camera is far, then the difference will not be noticeable to the viewer's eyes. Let's do one more variant. Let's do this with even, even less detail. This time, not much detail left, but since we are going to display this uh, when the camera is very far away, then it won't be a problem. Okay, let's, let's export these to Unity. I need to make some name changes here. 
for unity to recognize them all variants had to have the same name with a suffix and this should be load zero for the one with the highest detail and for the one lower level it has to end with load one and as respectively the others should end with load two and load three all capital Okay, now everything is ready. I am ready to export. We have given the correct names, uh, correct naming convention. Now I can export it to FBX so Unity can read and handle them. From here, you need to select Mesh only and FBX all. Then hit export. It may take a while for a computer to finish it depending on the detail level. Hey, computer did it again. So we can switch to the Unity side. For this tutorial, I am going to use Unity 6, but it's okay to use an earlier version too. I just created an empty project. This is URP render pipeline, but it's okay to use any render pipeline you wish. This operation is not bound to any render pipeline. It's common in all render pipelines. As a quick adjustments, I need to disable the shadow of the slide because in a second we are going to analyze the polygon count and for some reason when the shadow is on polygon counts look higher than they actually are okay back in business you see it has been exported here and from its look you can see that it is a prefab it has been exported to unity as a prefab actually Unity has automatically converted to a prefab. In a second, you will see why. Now, as you see, it displays the load index. So, uh, in some certain distances, uh, it switches between uh, the detailed variations automatically. Now, let's adjust our camera to face the wall from a close angle. This looks like a good angle. Now when we click on the prefab exported from Blender, you see that uh, the load group component has been automatically added by the Unity. Uh, this is this has been thanks to the naming convention that we did. Here you see that uh, there are four different versions with four different detail levels. The first one has 100% detail, almost a million polygon, and the second one has 10% detail, the third one is 1 and the final one is 0.3% details. As you see here, these are the exact detail levels that we entered from Blender. From this region, we can adjust which detail level is going to be displayed uh, with relative to camera distance. Here, this level of detail can be displayed with a closer distance to the camera and I'm going to adjust the rest of them respectively. Okay, I think these settings are fine. Now let's switch to the game mode, run the game and see the results. At this distance, it seems there is 2.1 million triangles in the scene. Let's move camera a bit far and see what will change. You see almost 211,000 triangles are present. Now, this is because the level of detail system has selected uh, the, the second load level. But this switch has been placed too far. Uh, we can make a lower distance in order to select this detail level. Let's move camera a bit again. And you see this time uh, the, the switch has been made in a lower distance. Let's focus our attention to the detail level, to the screen. As you see, the although the number of uh, polygons have been 90% uh, reduced, uh, the change to the eye is barely noticeable, almost none.
Now let's move camera to further distances in order to switch to the lower detail models. Yeah, this time 22K detail level is selected. You see we came from uh, a million to 22K and at this distance the change is barely noticeable if not none. At this distance it uses a lot less video memory so we can put a number of the from the same walls without being have to worried about uh, over memory consumption and you see we are at the lowest detail level and uh, no difference is not noticeable at all when we close the stats screen it becomes even more difficult to notice if there has been a transition from a detail level to another but there is something I don't like much. I would like to have a transition from one detail level to the other instead of a sharp path, sharp transition. Now let's see if the fade mode setting has an effect on transitions. Again, let's move camera a bit forward and backwards. Sorry for the bluish color. It is because of shader compilation. Uh, normally it is not going to appear once completed. Did you notice there is a small transition, a small blackish transition from one state to the another, one detail level to the another? It is not a game changer, nor a huge difference creator, but I think it still is pretty. So with this method you can combine so many meshes together, because the Unity will automatically select whether to display the high detail ones, or the low detail ones. Once it switches from high detail to low detail, uh, it won't be a huge problem for video memory. So let's make an application together. Uh, let's make this put uh, these walls one after another and see uh, it, see how much it will affect the memory video memory usage. As you see, there are 4.4 million triangles on the screen uh, because there are six walls and we know that each one was uh, 1 million triangles. Already 1.6 million uh, triangles have been occluded uh, from the screen. And once we uh, get even more far from these walls, the number of uh, triangles will definitely reduce. For example, here the lot 2 has been selected and you see the number of polygons displayed for that detail level here and load one as respective and from this distance on uh, the load zero level uh, starts to become displayed but with some minor adjustments uh, we can arrange the load one level to be displayed here let's try to do it Okay, as you see, load one level has been displayed, which occluded 90% of the polygons in the mesh and uh, saved 90% of triangles. As you see, this configuration uh, displays 4.4 million triangles at 250 frames per second. Uh, although there is no lighting, uh, this still is an impressive number. As you see, with the level of detail technique, you can create a lot more detailed scenes than you regularly can. At the end, I would like to speak a few words about the next video, in which I am going to show you uh, another clever tactic to export the visual details, the material details to the Unity. Uh, when we try to export them as they are now, and uh, they will look nice, uh, but they will cost a lot of video memory, but with the uh, clever technique, uh, we are going to export these material details with a very, very low memory and GPU budget on the next video. So see you in the next one.